principles of MIGS procedures are the same with any of the current popular canal-based devices, including the iStent, iStent Inject, Hydrus MicroStent, or Visco 360 and Visco 720. There are four basic steps with any of these devices. Number one is patient positioning. Patient chin down for surgeons operating from the head, and patient turned away from the surgeon for those operating from a temporal approach. Number two is filling the anterior chamber. The angle is filled with a cohesive OVD until IOP approximates 15 to 20 millimeters of mercury. With 2.4 millimeter incisions, this can be achieved by simply injecting the OVD until it refluxes from the CCI. One tip that I have found useful is to inject the cohesive OVD in a way that displaces any dispersive OVD from the angle of the eye. This makes viscoelastic removal from the angle easier at the end of the case and may help avoid post-op IOP spikes. Step three is angle structure identification. The cornea is coated with OVD and a gonio prism is used to identify the angle structures. This step is critical to avoid placing the device into the ciliary body band or under decimase at Schwabe's line. Step four is a device injection. Once the scleral spur and ciliary body band have been identified, the device being used is deployed through the trabecular meshwork into Schlem's canal. The eye stent injecting technique used in the cases in this video employs a gentle sweeping technique to catch the delicate and slightly elastic trabecular meshwork on the tip of the eye stent. Once the tip of the stent is engaged, it is usually easily advanced into the canal. In my hands, I find it best to avoid trying to aim the stent posteriorly into the canal as this can result in the stent becoming lodged in the posterior wall of Schlem's canal. Once the tip of the eye stent has pierced the trabecular meshwork, a gentle lift of the inserter tip centripetally can also help avoid impaling the posterior wall of the canal. Postoperatively in our center, we also give patients Diamox. This, along with the previously mentioned cohesive OVD injection technique, is very effective at limiting IOP spikes at the one-day post-op visit. Thank you for watching.